Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Gemini. Gemini, this is your weekly general reading for the 2nd through the 8th of September 2019. Now I'm pulling from the Oracle of the Unicorns, and I'm also using Crystal Angels. And Gemini, I will be pulling two Guardian Angel Tarot cards for you for further clarity of your reading. I'm using the Arcanum Tarot for your weekly general messages. And Gemini, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling several I Can Do It Positive Thought cards for you as well. Now you have Passion coming up here. Beautiful energy. Thank you, Spirit. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know this week? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. That one wants to come out. We're going to take it. Aquamarine. Divine Life Purpose. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right. What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know this week, Spirit? Second through the 8th of September. Thank you, Spirit. Gemini. Right. What does Gemini need to know, Spirit? All right, Gemini, we're ready. Situation of the week, we have the Hierophant. Crossing you is the Knight of Swords. And your foundation is the Seven of Wands. Eight of Swords coming up here in your recent past energy. Crowning you is the Two of Wands. And your new circumstance is the Ace of Wands. All right. From the bottom of the deck. Beautiful. Overall energy. Ten of Pentacles, Gemini. All right, thank you, Spirit. What extra messages do you have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign for this week, Spirit? Second through the 8th of September. All right, we have Helper of Thought. Spirit, oh. All right. And Ace of Thought. Beautiful. All right, give me just a moment. Let's go ahead and take a look at your major energies right here. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have passion. Do what excites you. Get fired up about your life. Increase your energy levels. Beautiful. Aquamarine. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance which are leading you to fulfillment. Pay attention to your intuition, Gemini. All right, we have the Ten of Pentacles coming up here as the overall energy, and this is beautiful. All right, the Ten of Pentacles is all about the good life, you know, wealth, good health, you know, security and stability uh, within your financial situation. This also represents traditional family values as well. It's very positive. This is a long-lasting energy, especially when it comes to achieving uh, financial stability and security in your situation. Now we have Helper of Thought. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best as as best you can you know we'll meet or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do this person is both confident and courageous beautiful now we have ace of thought this cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea which is truly inspired it's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. 
These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Beautiful. All right. The situation of the week is the Hierophant. This is the energy of Taurus coming through here. Now, again, you know, this to me represents higher up, you know, institutions. This could be corporation. This could be uh, religious uh, sit, you know, different religious factors may be playing a part here, especially with the Ten of Pentacles being the overall energy, because the Ten of Pentacles does represent traditional family values as well. But the main thing I'm getting from this energy, as you can see, there's a, two keys there, all right? And I feel that this is talking about you being able to tap into your inner well of knowledge Gemini and you've been I, I feel for many of you you've had some type of spiritual awakening or growth that has taken place and you've realized that what it is that you're searching for that you're seeking the answers all lie within you you hold the keys to your success this is you unlocking doors and and being able to move down paths that you recently were not able to walk through or, or paths to go down because you felt blocked and now you know that you're tapping into that energy and you can unlock those doors you can move down those paths now so you hold the keys that unlock any door that you felt was blocked or anything that may have been hindering you okay in your recent past because what's interesting here is that with the energy of the helper of thought coming through here your life is about to start moving very fast events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention and this is because you now know that you hold the keys to your success. You now know that you can unlock those doors. You now know that you can go down that path where maybe you felt was blocked before. So this is really an energy of a, a spiritual awakening or uh, this could have had to do with self-confidence as well. And now I feel like there's just a buildup, Gemini, of passion and desire about going and taking action with what your heart's true desire is. Now we do have the Knight of Swords coming in here in your crossing energy. This is your energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. The Knight of Swords is an energy of, you know, being very self-assured, being very knowledgeable about what it is that you're going after. Uh, you're speaking uh, your truth here and you are not sparing anyone's emotions or feelings and you're not holding back um, you're moving forward you have power with intent here for some of you you're taking action all right and this may mean that you have to cut out toxic people or toxic situations along the way but you are willing to do so in order to move forward it's important that you do what's best for you, Gemini, and speak your truth. Now, we do have the Seven of Wands coming up here in your foundation. This is, you know, what you're, this is what's driving you. This is what's moving you forward. This is you standing up, literally, for what you believe in. See, you're taking action here. That Knight of Swords and this Seven of Wands. This is all about you being aware and prepared to take a stand and this is exactly what you're doing um, you're not backing down and I do feel that you have the upper hand in this situation now we have the eight of swords coming up here in your recent past energy uh, this is you know that energy of where you felt blocked restricted limited you have you know you've broken free for, you know you are breaking free here that's what has happened here in your recent past. You took the blindfold off and you realize that you hold the keys to your success. And now you're moving forward. Now we have the two of wands in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. This talks about achievement. This talks about having, you know, two paths to go down. 
It's not really being at a crossroads. This is you understanding that you're stepping into your personal power here. It doesn't matter which path you take or which direction you go, Gemini. You're going to own it. You're going to make it yours. Now we have the Ace of Wands. Here's this passion. Here's this desire. Here's the self-confidence. This is you going after it, okay? Uh, this is, you know, this talks about a new beginning, starting a new adventure. Something about a new creative a vision that you've had. And you taking action on it. You know, you have several energies here talking about that you've had an idea for a new beginning or uh, something that's going to bring about a lot of passion in your life. Sorry, Jim and I had to get a drink. <clears throat> but you've got so much passion and desire here. This may even have to do with your life purpose. Some of you may be awake and know exactly what it is that you're here in this lifetime to do. What you're meant to achieve. And this is you stepping into your power and going after it. Remember, do what excites you. You know? Get fired up about your life, and I definitely see you doing this here. Raise your energy levels. That's exactly what's taking place here when you're stepping into your power. <coughs> Excuse me. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Listen to your intuition. You have this ten of pentacles here as the overall energy. Very powerful. This is, like I said... This is the good life. This is all about stability and security. Some of you uh, may be stepping outside of your comfort zone as well. And maybe um, whatever your traditional family values have been, you may be doing something different. Okay, That may be why you're taking a stand for, for yourself and standing up for what you believe in. The Hierophant is just telling me that, you know, you have really tapped in. You've taken the keys and you're unlocking doors. And you're moving forward successfully. There's a truth here that maybe that needs to be said to someone. Or people. Maybe family. I see you cutting out toxic people or situations that you may be dealing with. And you're moving forward. You're taking a stand. You have the upper hand here. And you're standing up for who you are, who Gemini is, all right? And it's a very powerful message right here with this, what's fueling you this week. You've recently come out of a space of taking the blindfold off and breaking free from being limited or restricted. This is allowing you to step into your personal achievement, a personal power here. doesn't matter which path you go down or which door you walk through, Gemini. You're going to own it. You have a creative vision. You have a new idea. This is something that has a lot of passion and has a lot of desire. This is something that you want and you're going after it. You have the helper of thought. Your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best you can. You know will meet or are someone with a very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This per person is both confident and courageous. That is you, Gemini. Ace of thought here. This cherub has arrived to congratulate you for your brilliant new idea, which is truly inspired. It's important to communicate clearly and thoroughly with others who are involved in the implementation of your idea. Don't be dissuaded by little challenges along the way. These are merely course corrections to perfect your plan. Beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. Whoop. All right, so we had one flyer. And I'm going to get that. Thank you, Spirit. All right. <clears throat> enduring loving relationships brighten my life 
from time to time I ask those I love how can I love you more beautiful I am constantly discovering new ways to improve my health I look forward to a healthy old age because I take loving care of my body now I get the help I need when I need it from various sources my support system is strong and loving I cannot change another person I let others be who they are and I simply love who I am beautiful Gemini all right I love you guys please leave me a comment and let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation I send you all my love wishes and blessings and I'll see you next time bye bye Gemini